Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. Let us read the question on the slide. If the weight of 12 sheets of thick paper is 40 grams, how many sheets of the same paper would weigh two and a half kilograms? First thing that we know from our general knowledge is that more the number of sheets of paper, more will be their weight. So the number of sheets and their weights are directly proportional to each other. Now let us assume that number of sheets be x and let us denote weight of the sheets by y grams. Our next step is to construct a table with x and y as variables that means number of sheets and weight of the sheets as variable. In the question it is given that 12 sheets weigh 40 grams. Next thing that we are given is the weight of two and a half kilo weight is two and a half kilograms and we have to find the value of x. So first thing is to calculate weight in terms of grams that means two and a half kilograms is equal to 2.5 into 1000 grams and that is equal to 2500 grams hence we are given y is 2500 and we have to find say x2 using the property of direct proportion x1 by y1 should be equal to x2 by y2 and substituting x1 equal to 12 y1 equal to 40 x2 we have to find out and y2 equal to 2500 we get we get 12 by 40 is equal to x2 by 25 on cross multiplying we get 12 into 2500 whole divided by 40 will give us x2. On solving this further, we will find out that x2 is equal to 750. And that means the required number of sheets of paper which will weigh 2.5 kilograms is 750. Let us read the question on the slide. A train is moving at a uniform speed of 75 km per hour. First thing that we have to find is how far will it travel in 20 minutes? And second part is to find the time required to cover a distance of 250 km. It is very important to understand this question. The term given is that the train is moving at a uniform speed of 75 km per hour. That means that speed is uniform means that it is not changing at all. And 75 km per hour means it travels 75 km in one hour. Also we understand that since the speed is uniform, therefore the distance covered would be directly proportional to the time taken. Let us start by assuming that the distance travelled be equal to x and let us denote time taken by y and let us take distance in terms of kilometers and time in terms of minute and try to construct a table Then we are given that 
the speed is 75 kilometers per hour means it travels 75 kilometers in 1 hour that is same as 60 minutes and we are asked that how far will it travel in 20 minutes so we are given time and we are asked that what distance will it travel so let us denote it by x2 and the second part says that find the time required to cover the distance of 250 km in the second part we are given the distance traveled and we have to find the time taken so let us denote it by y3 on using the property of directly proportional we can substitute x1 equal to 75 y1 equal to 60 x2 we have to find out and y2 is equal to 20 in the expression and calculate the value of x2 on substituting the values we get the following expression and on cross multiplying we will get we will get x2 is equal to 25 that means that our train will travel 25 kilometers in 20 minutes similarly we can use the rule of direct proportions and solve the second part of the same question by substituting x1 equal to 75 y1 equal to 60 x3 is equal to 250 and y3 we have to calculate after substitution we get the following expression now let us solve it further and cross multiply we get y3 is equal to 250 multiply by 60 whole divide by 75 on solving will give us 200 minutes or which is equal to 3 hours and 20 minutes and therefore 3 hours 20 minutes will be required to cover a distance of 250 kilometers let us read the question on the slide the scale of a map is given as 1 is to 3 crore meters two cities are 4 cm apart on the map find the actual distance between them let us first try to understand what does scale is 1 is to 3 into 10 to the power 7 means it means that on the map if the two points are 1 cm apart then actual distance between them is 3 into 10 to the power 7 meters let us denote the distance on the map by x and the actual distance by y now we are in a position to construct a table between x and y we have for x equal to 1 y is 3 into 10 to the power 7 and for x equal to 4 we have to find the value of y let us denote it by y2 and now we can use the rule for direct proportion that is x1 by y1 is equal to x2 by y2 and substitute x1 equal to 1 y1 equal to 3 into 10 to the power 7 x2 is given as 4 and we have to find out the value of y2 on substitution we will get 
1 by 3 into 10 to the power 7 is equal to 4 by y2 on cross multiplying we will get y2 is equal to 4 into 3 into 10 to the power 7 and that is equal to 12 into 10 to the power 7 which is the required answer.